Greetings programs. Right, just a bit of generic old school fun here. We're going to be loading a chess program onto Acorn Electron. It's one of those British microcomputers from the 1980s. We're going to be loading a chess program. Acorn soft chess for the Acorn Electron. Betty, we're just going to load the program. That's what it's all about. It's about how to load a program on this damn thing. There we go. Chess. 80s day glow colours. Right. Switch on your cathode ray tube TV. Don't really recommend these on flat screens. It's risk of ghosting and shit like that. Right, to turn the acorn on, you're going to have to plug it in the mains. Just uh, automatically come on, so I'm not sure why the screen ain't coming on. I'll have to do a little bit of manual tuning here. Yeah, channel A. Channel A, it's an unusual one. Right. Let's see, I call an electron. Right, what we do, we've got keyboard. You see that you've got your lettered keys and you've got your functions underneath. Now, instead of manually typing in each command letter by letter, you can hold down the function key, caps lock function key, and tap any one of these. So if we want to load a program, instead of just typing in chain, as in C-H-A-I-N, we can just hold down caps lock function and tap the tap the K key chain space shift double quotes chess right, let's do that again right, we're going to hit the break key to reset our data right When we've done that, we hit the return key, it's going to start searching. Right, this is the bit where we switch on our tape deck and press play button to load the program. As you can see, we've got that running. Right, we'll just turn the speaker off. Right, it's going to be doing this for a bit, and then we should actually see the actual programming appear as a series of commands on the prompt, which is kind of like a DOS prompt, well, it's a basic prompt, it's BBC Basic. Hey, there we go. This is where it all gets a little bit tron, really. Now, this is kind of a history lesson. It's about the boredom of loading a program from cassette tape. So you can see all these lines of command text coming up on the screen. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. My first experience with a computer is with that Fidgety Siemens Celeron Pentium 4 down there. So I can tell you one thing. This was a bit daunting when I first saw one of these. I think my first experience with a microcomputer was with an Amstrad that was on display in a charity store. Is it an Amstrad CPC 60... Amstrad CP 464, I think. We've got WH Smith's cassette tape, tape deck, and you see that we've got the leads, there's about three plugs, we've gone into the 7 pin DIN pool on the side of the microbe, TV connection which is an RF pool, hence that crackly interference sound, 
And then we've got our power in the acorn. Now, if we actually just want to quit this and terminate, you just hit the break key. That would like terminate any uh, instruction. Yeah, you know, that will terminate anything that the computer is doing, even if it's in the middle of executing an instruction. If you just want a bit more analogue, then I can tell you that we do at least have a rotary dial timing the cassettes. Right, so we're about 82. 82 in, the cassette marker. boring isn't it all this just to load a game of chess I would have actually just set up a regular chess board by this point though it's not like I've really got anyone to play chess with never mind that's not to say that I don't enjoy playing with old electronics it can be an interesting learning experience Data! Question mark. Data, data! That's probably just me trying to sound like MC Mad Peak. Mad Patrick from the top bus. Hello. Got a bit of squeaking going on here. Has the tape just stopped? Oh, I'm just going to stop that. No. Okay. Strange sound. So the note was dying. Wow. That's strange. It's like, uh, spindle, the motor's dying. It's not coping very well with this, is it? If in doubt, give it a clout. Yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> okay, we're doomed. Tape failure. Well, the general idea is that once you get through all this text, the game would actually then actually start, and then you'd actually start getting your 8-bit graphics and what have you. Uh, thank you anyway. <laughs> thank you, thank you anyway for watching. It's another one of those disaster videos.